Speedy here. Today, we're going to find out just how bulletproof a old Mac Impact from 1987 is. It's the first Impact my dad bought when he became a mechanic. Finally, he finally replaced the thing so well, won't break any bolts loose, and he can't even change a tire with it no more. A piston from a car V6 car engine. Don't know what engine. There's gonna be for scrap. Trailer tongue from an old from a boat trailer. And a crankshaft. Before we start, I just want to like to show off some shirts I got for my birthday recently. I got this one from my grandparents. And my mom and dad got me this one. And it's autographed by John Schneider, Bo Duke, Catherine Bach, Daisy Duke, and Tom Lowe, Pat Luke Duke. Now, any of any of y'all haven't guessed yet, I'm a huge Dukes of Hazzard fan. It's my favorite show. And, which is why. I got the old ones on my door and the horn. Alright, first up is my Stevens Model 246 Bolt Action 22. I believe it's from 1942, I'm not exactly sure. I bought this uh, last year from a local sporting goods store for 125 bucks Black Friday. Hold on a second. As always, I don't have no help or nothing. It's just me. I do all the setup, filming and shooting myself, and I do the shooting in one hand because I got the phone in the other hand. So I'm going to use a redneck shooting stand I got. Hit the impact. Hit the piston. Hit the trailer tongue. Hit 
crankshaft. All shots are from 30 yards. Trailer tongue. I knew that one was going to go through. Crankshaft. Hit the piston. And impact. I'm gonna try something. Use this to hold the phone. That ought to work perfect. Yeah, that'll work perfect. Now I can use two hands. Didn't even do nothing to throw it, huh? Just peppered the piston. No damage to the impact. Just gotta get everything reset. Now for the 12 gauge, number four, and then number one butt.
missed the trailer ton. Cause I don't know if I hit the piston or the crank either, but I know I hit the impact. Yeah, that's all it did. Now for the number one buck. Win it's Winchester brand. The number four is federal. If you're honored, it's my 1959 Winchester Wing Light Semi. I'll tell you this, you want your shoulder broke? Get a 12 gauge to number one butt. It kicks more than a slug. I only had two left of number one, so I only did the trailer tongue and impact. As you can see, it hit, it didn't do nothing. The impact went flying. Uh, it's back here. Well, it took off the trigger. That's all it did. It just dented it. Nothing's going through. And that shows you how tough Mac tools are. So, so far, if you were in a garage, whatever, somebody came in there shooting, and you had a Mac impact, which it's small, but uh, it would protect you. Because 22, 20, and 12 gauge. I have not gone through severely dented it but not going through fifty cal muzzle loader now 150 grains powder 370 grain bullet Well, that did it. There's the um, handle piece. Uh, here's the top half. Hit just a little low. Well, see, now you can see what the inside of one of these looks like. Focus. I meant to hit it up here.
and just stand it up like that. Going to reload the muzzle loader real quick, then take a shot at the uh, trailer time. You can still see all the smoke over there. Wow, didn't go in. It hit it here. Now, AR, Colt AR-15 and 223 Remington.
And again, what, what you're hearing is me pulling the trigger really fast. It's a just a plain old AR-15. Missed the crankshaft. Hit the trailer tongue. There's a bullet in that hole. But these two holes here, it went straight through. Busted the impact some more. It no longer turns. Bullet didn't come out. Hit the piston, and it came through. Thanks for watching.